All right, so I'm back on My Rise Unleashed here. So last time we were at Survivor Series, uh, War Games, and uh, before we get to that point, actually, we were temporarily the GM, and uh, honestly, didn't do too good of a job. <laughs> Ended up putting ourselves in the War Games match on Becky Lynch's team, and, <laughs> and then Becky severely gets injured after Shotzi runs a full-sized actual tank into the ring, and Becky fell off the top of the cage, so... Where do we go from here? Well, I guess apparently last time uh, we are getting a shot at the Women's World Championship, so... Don't treat me like a woman. See how that goes. So, which makes me kind of think maybe I'm close to the end, but... Again, I'm not really sure, so I'm just gonna keep playing and find out. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the women's world title. And that championship match is happening right now. After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There, friend. Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait. How did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Why does the lighting on my character look so weird? Oh my god! Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Oh. Chad weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games. Me, that has to be a world record for the fastest reverse I've ever had. Apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, I'm stealing Bailey's stuff right now. More deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The Women's World Champion is the real winner here. It's true. Well, I guess this explains why it was talking about how. Um, Depending on who I choose to team up with at uh, for war games, yeah, I get a branching path because obviously this would probably be Becky if I was on Bailey's team, and then I'm assuming Bailey would have been the one getting hurt. I'm going in right now. It's been a couple of days since I last recorded a part of this, so kind of hoping this is my last session of this uh, Unleashed because kind of feel like it's been going on a while. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect it to be this long. 
And of course, you know the drill. In this game, the CPU Irish whips way too much. It's so predictable. It's like free breakers, basically. Hey, well, she's stunned here, so it's time to time to unload some light attacks. Cap going in! But okay, I'm still a little confused though. So how did um Shotzi injure her leg? She didn't answer the question at all. Is it is she faking it or how, how did she get injured? My goodness. Get her off me. I'm gonna risk it and go for a signature move here. Go cap! Okay, Bailey has freeze. I'm assuming Bailey has resiliency, but I don't really know for sure. But maybe I should have pinned her after that, uh... That was nasty. That, um... Hurricane Rana. But I'll just go for slice bread here. Come here! She's stunned. It's free. Here we go. Fuck yeah! Cap is back. No longer the GM. I'm ready to go. Oh, what? <laughs> Not even fake resiliency. What was that? No way. Oh my god. Well, I just got my question answered. She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots. But how did she fool us? Like compared to the tank, this is nothing. Why would we think she was injured? Getting control of the situation. She's using the crutch on her. Oh gosh. Shotzi wasn't done. White Russian leg sweep. Sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. All right, get this psycho out of here. I, I, dude, I don't... That had to be the quickest I've won a match on this Unleashed, because, again, I'm playing on... Uh, Oh, different loading screen. I'm playing on Legend, but I feel like I just destroyed Bailey right there. And usually they kick out once no matter what, even without resiliency. Uh, so Bianca Belair, I know we're supposed to be on opposite sides heading into our matchup, but I gotta say, I'm not a fan of how Shotzi shut you down last week. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that either, or her crutch. You want my advice? Don't feed the troll. <laughs> Whether Shotzi likes it or not, you're the number one contender and I'm the champion. She's not in charge here. Say the word and you'll get your title opportunity next week. I'm definitely saying the word. Then it's on. You'll regret it after I beat you, but it's on to you at Raw. Wonder if you'll be so friendly after I have your championship. Calling it now, there's no way I get the championship on a Raw. Something's gonna happen. I feel like we've been building this point. I'm gonna win the championship at some pay-per-view. So, that's my prediction. Call it now. Uh, I don't got points. I think we're back in the TBD arena, which is actually a pretty cool arena in the game. Eva Rose. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness... It's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. Damn. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I 
I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Oh, Geneva keeping it real like usual, I guess. Go to match. So I thought it was interesting how she talked about, like, does it feel smaller coming back here? I feel like I had an experience like that in my life. Um, so when I was in high school, um, I kind of did this thing where I worked with, like, the IT department where I got to go to um, other schools in my area to, um, like, work on, like, tickets, basically. Or, like, help desk tickets. And I had to go back to some of my old, like, elementary schools. And just going back, everything seems so small, dude. crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena. Yeah, something's definitely happening here. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh my god. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no. Guys, guys. It's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No. I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Does she no showed? Are you serious? Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. All right, Liv's not even supposed to be on Raw anymore. Come on. <laughs> Dude, the writers just don't care. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match with three busloads of children in the same day. <laughs> what? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Alright, I'm always a fan of these cutscenes that just go directly into gameplay. It's nice. Like you said, Corey, Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history. Attempt to win. Oh! Okay, so I'm not required to win this. If Cap will ever make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. But yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying, like, how, like, Liv, we beat her and she was supposed to leave Raw and, like, she's, been, like, she's still shown up. Like, I guess you could make the argument in that Mick Fol... What? In that Mick Foley one, that wasn't, like, real. It was, like... Like, not canon, I guess you could say, but... This is like actually happening on Raw. Like they could have like just at least record like a throwaway line of dialogue, like "Oh, Liv got traded back to Raw" or something. But no, 
they just completely ignore that storyline where she was forced to leave. And then get by the interrupting that, it's fine. Yep. And this one might be headed ringside. At first I thought it was going to be a 3 one handicap match, which would have been interesting for the challenge, but no, it's fatal for a Big brawn breaker right there. Yeah. Okay, just try to pass and pin. Honestly, I'll take the free momentum. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Knock her off here. I want to do some springboard attacks, but gotta knock her down first. Yep. I don't think he's even gonna hit. Oh, it did. Tornado DDT. Alright, Cap's gonna go for it. X Factor. Oh my god, cover. Okay, so Liv has resiliency, plus it's lead, uh, plus it's people, yeah. I thought she was gonna interrupt it for a second. Alright, so it's gonna be tough. We gotta. So. Rhea and Liv have resiliency. I don't know about Asuka. I know she's got poison mist, but I don't know what the other one is. Probably resiliency, honestly, but I think we should focus on Liv because she's actually like severely hurt. It's kind of funny because I was talking about earlier how like uh, that match with Bailey felt easy, but I failed to mention Cap's becoming like overpowered now. I got her like 95 overall with all the upgrade points I've gotten. So that would explain a lot actually too. So unless I'm facing like the, I think the two highest overall women are Rhea and Bianca. I know Rhea is 96. I think Bianca's 95. Charlotte's pretty high too. And Becky is all, also, but. Okay, what's my plan here? I think the plan is going to be to throw these other two out of the ring and then do a leverage pin on Liv to waste her resiliency. And then maybe I'll use Rage or something to get a finisher. I don't know. What? I did a breaker, but it like, it didn't like counter. It just dodged. That was weird. That was the most useless breaker I've ever done. Oh no! Help! 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 Thank you. <laughs> roll out. Yeah, we gotta watch out for Rhea. She has a finisher and a full bar as well. Liv almost has a full bar too. Asuka has a finisher. Ripcord position. Ripcord drop kick. And Morgan saves herself. This could be big. Going up high. Risky maneuvers. Oh god, help. <laughs> Asuka lock, help. I actually need help here. Okay, good. I don't want to have to use resiliency. I might use Rage here. I'm not really sure. Oh, God. Please help. <laughs> no! Oh, what? She let go or what happened there? Uh, instant recovery. Is it worth it? That should be fine. Oh, my God. I would use Resiliency off a regular move? Are you serious? I mean, I guess I did just get hit with the uh, finisher, but still. Breaker, um... I'm trying to think of a plan here, man. I, I need to get rid of uh, Liz's resiliency. Oh, my controller's doing that thing where, like, the audio cuts out again. It's annoying. Uh, I was hoping Asuka would be stunned because I need to waste. Well, I guess Liv doesn't have resiliency right now. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. 
Sharpshooter might be my best friend. Okay, let's actually just see if does Asuka have resiliency? He does, of course. Devastating clothesline delivered by Rhea Ripley. Make it twice. And now maneuvers her opponent. Dropped. Ah, okay, hold on. No, what? <laughs> I just need to waste somebody's resiliency. It doesn't even matter at this point because everyone's hurt. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, okay, that's, that's fine because Rhea will use resiliency, actually. If I can get up fast enough, I'll actually just attack Asuka, so Rhea uses it. No, of course not. Shoulders down. Oh, well, I got lucky there. Okay, so Rhea is now the target. Okay, why is my controller audio cutting out? It's so annoying, man. Oblivion. Damn, I was trying to do finisher there, that was too slow. That was actually a good opportunity. No, come on, I'm not gonna lose off a hip toss. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, help! Okay, I didn't even notice the referee got knocked out at some point. I don't know when that happened. She is desperate to get out of this submission some way, somehow. I mean, to be fair, I remember, I don't have to win this, so I could sabotage and just help someone else win, but I actually want to win at this point. I'm invested. Yeah. I got so lucky I didn't get stunned there. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Okay, I really need to clear the ring here. Oh my god! Okay, why did that move give so much stun? Alright, here we go. Here's my chance. No, I thought Liv was stunned! Of course, another rope break. Damn. I'm having a real tough time here. <laughs> Liv still has resiliency, so I need to get her out of the ring, man. Alright, this is awful. <laughs> I'm stuck in a vortex right now. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Take it Guess I'm gonna use Rage. Off of this crowd's incredible energy. She'll take things into the ring. Okay, this is my chance. Hey, Mr. On the Chair! Oh my god, that was sick. Come on! Oh my god, that was so close! Oh my god. That was a sick finish. Right on the chair, dude. Let's go, Cap. Shots are you watching? Bianca, you still at the community center or wherever you are? <laughs> Signing autographs? Imagine no showing a Raw just because uh, you want to sign autographs on a non scheduled appearance. Honestly, when Shotzi came out, I thought she was gonna say, say she shot the community center with the tank. That's honestly what I thought she was gonna say. Oh god. My car to the airport was somehow redirected to an empty field and I missed my flight. Damn. Shotzi really is a professional troll right now. Wait, what did that message from Bailey say? <laughs> Just happened to hear that Bianca needs her next opponent. I have the best suggestion. Oh, this is old. <laughs> this is when I was GM. Guess I'm at the airport. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> who 
was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? <laughs> Absolutely get arrested. not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match, win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. All right, good. I'm glad we decided this at the airport. <laughs> Cap is risking her title opportunity on the next Raw when she finally faces Shotzi in the ring. And for a rivalry this big, it's falls count anywhere, including the airport. Let's go. Non-playable arena airport. Oh, Shotzi loading screen. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, here we go. I guess this is potentially the end of the Shotzi rivalry here. Finds tenacious, brave, and driven. Not driven to the airport, though. Is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Go. Making our way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Victoria. From indie legend to WWE superstar, Cap is always ready for action. Yeah, this isn't some smoke-filled bingo hall, Saxton. It's WWE. <laughs> if the so-called captain wants to prove herself here, she's got to do it in the ring. It's time for indie cred to be put to the test. go so I feel, I feel like I kind of called this where Shotzi was gonna be uh, like a central character in this story but if it was up to me I would have had her appear a little bit more throughout the stories because it kind of felt like she's there at the beginning and the end but not necessarily the middle. She is quickly growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and newly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Dude, we need that full-size tank to come back. That was the best cutscene in this entire story. That was hilarious, dude. <laughs> Alright, so is this actually true? Is this going to be the end of the Shotzi rivalry or is something going to happen again? <laughs> Falls kind of anywhere, so. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for. Now they finally meet again. To Defeat Shotzi. Right up. Back even further to the independent scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. Yep. <laughs> it seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Should I try for my flaming table spot again, or I think it's gonna get ruined for like the 40th time? 
Oh, Cap! Oh my god! <laughs> Concussion City right there. Yeah, Cap is so OP. I do so much damage if someone's not like one of the big names like uh, Rhea and Bianca. It's time for the new and improved rebound attacks. Alright, actually, you know what I want to do? Um, I think there's been a couple of matches where I talked about putting someone through the announce table, but I feel like I never did it. Not that Just I remember. To Stop. Looks like she's opting to go Stop! A classic, a steel chair. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone Rocket kick. Including us. A demoralizing attack on Shotzi there. Oh, I want to slam her into the apron. Caught with that sharp elbow. She manages to get control. And come on now, distasteful offense we've just witnessed. Uh oh, clearing the table. They're yeah, gonna take it to the next level. No. What is a superstar thinking? They're thinking about the. Don't steal my idea. <laughs> Even though I stole your idea of war games, don't steal my idea. No. I read somewhere you can actually pick up that water bottle, so I wanted to try that out. What do I do? Just go up and then pick it up? Whoa! I just it said you can pick up the water bottle. I don't remember exactly where I read that from, though. Maybe you have to be on the ground to pick it up? I don't know. Look in the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Uh, Fujiwara arm I do not tap. Don't believe anyone. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Armbreaker. Throw it. Music instant recovery. Everyone get out of the way. These two are the big neck right here. All the straights. She's taking a beating here. And with the oh, God, my controller just died. You have to be extra oh, my God. I'm not doing this. My controller. Oh, my. It won't let me pause either. <laughs> The controller. No, I'm not doing this. Oh my god, Shotzi's messing with that controller. Oh, thank God. So annoying. I'm having so many Xbox controller issues, man. I've tried looking up like you know stuff like oh, update the firmware on the controller, turn it off and on, resync it. I've tried all that stuff. Nothing fixes it. It'll just randomly like have these issues. So frustrating. Okay, that was good. <laughs> she can end it here. Oh, there, my story's over from a drop kick. Not a very effective pin attempt. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. What? <laughs> Alright, come here. Someone's going through this announce table, man. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Okay, do you have to drag him into it? I... Oh, solid contact there. Oh my god. If I screw around too much, I feel like I could lose this match. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. This Jesus. <laughs> Nice again, please. There we go. Oh, of course, and I finally do it. It gets reversed. By the way, I try to dodge and it just climbed the announce table. Finally, okay. I, I don't know exactly what I'm trying here, though. Hey, now can I pick up the water bottle, or was that just not true at all what I read? It doesn't let me pick it up. Oh no, it did, finally. What's the taunt with it? <laughs> I'm gonna throw in this water bottle at her. What brand is this? Dasani? Aquafina? EG? <laughs> that was true, yeah. What's like the regular attack with it then? Oh, why? I just stomp with it? Maybe it doesn't have a... Okay, what are you doing? You really are a sight. What is this goofiness? Come here. <laughs> oh, 
helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has to find an opening and respond. <laughs> okay, that's the animation. No, there's no table, so I can't do the flaming table spot. Well, oh boy, rip. Kendo stick in hand, nefarious look in her eyes. Ready to go, brother. Look at the sick glee she is showing. Come on! Kendo oh, Kendo stick wars? She's in the ring again. Oh, Kendo stick right to the head. Ooh. Good lord, what a shot. Someone's got <laughs> No, I went for signature there. Witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. There's what we're gonna do. Wake up taunt, momentum taunt, and trading blows mini game here. That's the plan. Okay, well. Apparently she initiated. That was weird. Okay, that's a bad miss. I really need to win this. I mean, I have resiliency, so I have a safety net in case something goes wrong, but. Yeah, I won. Wow, I got so much momentum from that. That's it. Who ordered the sliced bread? Come here. Caps going for it. Sliced bread. False count anywhere, including the ring. <laughs> oh, it's over. I thought you could kick out with fake resiliency. Oh, no. Champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. Big we fight feel. For a match. This could jump off right here. All about respect, though, at the end of the day, right now. Look at this. It's Big. The number one contender and the women's world champion will finally go one on one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it. By the way, I got to say, I kind of felt like Bianca was going to appear here because I didn't say anything at the time, but I swear during one of our entrances, I saw a Bianca Belair sign the crowd. So I was like, okay, she's somehow involved in this. But there we go. One last Shotzi. So I guess Shotzi's done. I got 25 points for that. I think we have time for another storyline in this video here, too. Let's upgrade here. Let's truly become overpowered cap. Uh, I got 37 points. More striking. Oh, cap's so OP, dude. Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was... So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. Damn! <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. Okay, this is going where I think this is going. This is kind of weird. 
Like, are they... Is she saying, like, we're gonna have the match in TVD for the <laughs> women's world title? Why would WWE ever allow that? <laughs> I mean, I guess we should... <sighs> Kind of being hypocritical because, like I always say, it's the video game, so you don't need to adhere to realism necessarily. You have a lot more creative freedom, obviously, in a game compared to actual writing TV. You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches, best of three series. So yeah, <laughs> it might go to if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go two. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable. Or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stopping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? <laughs> Untelevised? What about, what about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing. And whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. Face Bianca in the UK at Club UK. Face Bianca in Mexico. Ooh. Um. I don't know. They're both solid choices. I'm going to say UK, though. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king. Okay. <laughs> now I'm wondering what the alternate dialogue would have been. Oh, this is a pretty cool loading screen. So I'm assuming one of these I'm going to lose in a cutscene. So they're going to get the most utility of this story. That's the three World Series for the Women's World Championship begins tonight. Bianca Belair defends her title against Cap in England. Welcome to the Indies, Bianca. Welcome to my world. <laughs> we'll see about that. I guess maybe I should change the color of my outfit to, uh... Well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this is the last story or not, but I feel like it has to end at WrestleMania, so maybe there's something after this. Let's go, Cap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Victoria. I like the lighting in this arena. It looks pretty cool. Seeing the camera flashes, though, on a smaller audience looks really bad. It looks like the old PS2 days and stuff. <laughs> it makes more sense with like giant arenas so you can't really tell but like it's clear that those aren't lining up with you know people actually taking photos which obviously they weren't back in the day either but it's a lot more noticeable on these smaller venues all right best of three series starts here <laughs> Hopefully Shotzi is banned from the venue.
It's kind of weird because like this is such a big moment in the story, but because we're doing this on these smaller shows, there's no commentary. <laughs> it's an interesting concept though, but I'm just kind of curious to where it's going to go, you know. I guess if I had to make a prediction, I could see this going two ways. One, either the best of three series somehow ends in a draw or like a disqualification. And then we finish it at WrestleMania and that's how the story ends. Or I just win here and then feud with someone else at WrestleMania to end it. Those are my predictions, but... Again, just to wait and see. Also, we'll have to see what the objective says when the match loads up, if I'm actually going over or not. Okay, looks like there's actual cutscenes here. Set the tone on offense against Bianca Belair, alright. Stop. Oh god! That took so much vitality. Oh god, I went for my vintage rocket kick. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, look at how much more damage Bianca's doing compared to me, even with my high stats. Vintage rocket kick. Classic cap right there. That makes me wonder when I should use the uh, the mini game. <laughs> oh my god! I think I dodged into that spear basically. Big breaker here. I'm gonna hit her with the heavy attack. You got reversed. Not a bad reversal to take though, because I get the momentum from uh, kicking out. I mean, she got some too because I did the reversal counter, but still, not bad. Not a bad trade, I'd say. Big reversal. All right, we're just going back and forth at this point. This first objective requires a ton of offense. Do something risky here. <laughs> no! Oh god. Wait, did she use a comeback when she already had a full bar? Or am I seeing things? If so, that is such a blockhead move. I'm actually pretty damaged though. I need to be careful here. X Factor! God, my stamina is like terrible right now. I gotta be careful here. She's probably going for signature move. Okay, hopefully I can kick out that resiliency. That'd be great. Thank God. All right. <laughs> I gotta watch out for that KOD though. Man, it requires a lot of damage here. Okay, big reversal. That helps a lot. Oh, did I instantly do the next objective by accident or something? Oh! Remember when she did that to Sasha Banks and you saw like that cut? That was brutal. Okay, she's doing it twice. I'm just gonna die. Don't tell me it's over already. KOD? <laughs> No! You didn't even have a finisher. I reversed it. It's a scam. Cutscene victory. Yeah, okay. Well, I figured at least one of these matches she was going over via cutscene. I didn't expect it to be that early. I thought there'd be more back and forth, but alright. Oh, the EST prevails again. So, are we going to Mexico next, then? So happy to have taken the trip to England for Bianca Belair versus Kat. Bianca was incredible right into the lines then and takes the W. Just so happened that taming lines is one of my specialties. 
Much love to uh, Club UK. You guys want to make some noise. All right, thank you for your input, Mark. What's up, Regal? How's it going? Want to play some billiards, my man? Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. <laughs> Cutscene victory. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show. The interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. You know what's funny? If they actually did like a cross promotional thing like this now like with someone like as big as Bianca Belair those tickets to that small venue would sell out like instantaneously instantaneously Bianca got very comfortable very quickly I would have hired her for TBW it was beginner's luck uh, no, I'll show the respect this whole angle is about respect this isn't shocked to hear throwing a fit if she had come up in the indies I would have wanted her for TBD but that's not gonna stop me from beating her at our next stop which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? Oh, I get to... Ch oh, okay, never mind. So I guess it was either Mexico or UK. So now it's either Japan or Los Angeles. Um, I, I, Let's go to Japan. I've been giving that some thought with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure. If you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. I caught a match. Alright, see you in Japan. <laughs> Please do not try this at home. All right, am I getting my cutscene victory? Or, no, it probably just want me to straight win just to make it more challenging. Oh, there's actually a, a Titan Shrine in this arena. Go oh, Cap! It's Cap. I gotta remember after I complete this Myra's, I want to export this Cap just so I have her saved in my Xbox. I guess I should uh. Put on community creation so I can have it saved on my PC too. Just, just cause. I mean, there's nothing special about this created superstar I made, but just having it just to look back, like, oh yeah, that was my version of Cap. You know, it would be nice. Alright, so she's up 1 0. The EST, Bianca Belair. With her cutscene KOD victory. Hopefully we got security posted up here to stop Shotzi. Well, I'm pretty sure Shotzi's done. It was pretty much confirmed with the name of that story, like the one last Shotzi. She's done. Officially out of the story. She got destroyed at every point. She had one high point. She had the best cutscene in the entire My Rise with the full size tank. So I guess now when I play through the men's My Rise, is there going to be a cutscene better than the full size, full size tank cutscene? I don't know. It's a tough one to beat. I don't know if I can do it, but we'll have to see. Here we go, round two. Yep, of course. I This is what I expected, just defeat her by pinfall submission, so... This is just a straight match for this one. Get her off me. Right, I'm gonna try to do a damage taunt early here. Hopefully I can land some attacks. Of course, no. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Alley-oop, yeah. See how much vitality that took? That was insane. Come here. Thighs are up for a nice drop kick. Question is, when should I do the Trading Blows minigame? Should I save it? I mean, I still do, like, solid damage, though. It's just... 
Combination with the higher difficulty and one of the top overall people in the game, Bianca Belair. Ref, please. <laughs> My breaker game is not good right now. I keep guessing light attack, but she keeps doing heavy attack. I'll take that momentum, though. Thank you very much. Also, that drag is so easy to reverse. It's kind of funny because I was going to do a drag. I want to do a, a move on the ropes. Risky. Paid off. Yep, yeah, size her up. That did absolutely no damage whatsoever. Cap, my god! Yeah, I got her orange here, so she's reeling. If I can get her stun, I can get a free signature and hopefully waste her resiliency. That's a solid plan, I think. Oh, she's stunned. Hurricane Rana! Wow, she doesn't even have resiliency activated. This is pointless. I just pretty much fed her momentum. That was dumb. Question is, do I go for a finisher now? Or if she reverses that, kind of screwed. What's my standing submission? I don't even remember. Have I even done this once in the playthrough? Wow, she got out instantly. Oh my god. Yeah, that? I stopped the rollout with the wake up taunt. Big moves right there. Crossbody. Alright, we're gonna risk it. I can win this. I'll get good momentum. She'll be stunned. I can waste that resiliency. That's the plan. I'm teeing off right now. Kept putting it all on the line here. I'm going for gold. Big! Alright. How about Vintage Cap with that Northern Lights Fisherman that should waste the resiliency? We got good momentum. Almost another finisher too. Plus Rage if I need it. Alright, ready? Ref, get out of the way. I'm about to dive out. Ref! Cap! Oh, come on. Big reversal. There. That's what I want to do in that match against Shotzi. <laughs> Get a free breaker. I'll just do a pullback attack. Can get in the ring. I got Cap Hurricane Rana! Alright, this is my chance. Famous, sir. Cover. Will she kick out with that fake resiliency? Find out next. She did. All right, that's a fake resiliency. She's also got comeback. I'm doing, I'm taking a risk. No, that was so risky. There goes my finisher. All right, Rage is gonna be our friend here, but also we gotta be careful because um. If I'm in a situation where I get hit with the KOD and I have no resiliency, I'm kind of screwed. But she gained a ton of momentum for reversing my sharpshooter. But she's stunned though. What can I do here? I could cheese it with the leverage pin, but I don't feel like doing that. It's a good match. I don't want to ruin it. Right, Cap's getting good momentum here while she's stunned. Okay, I'm going to go rage. Ah, that was kind of dumb actually. I was kind of close to a finisher. Oh no! <laughs> Ref! Alright, come here. Hardest part of the ring right here. Yeah, I regret using that Rage. I should have saved it. I didn't really need to do that. Rage, to me, Rage is best used when you have like, barely any finisher bar at all. Taking a risk again. Cap with the sharpshooter. 
This has got to be it. Ask her. Wow. There we go. I just tapped out the champ clean in Japan. All right, one one. See, Bianca, that's how you win without a cutscene, all right? Oh my god, it's Ken Shamrock. Dude, Ken Shamrock's theme is so good. It's gotta be in my top 10. Wow, the lighting looks so weird right now. Alright, Bianca Belair and William Regal. Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread, and so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. That's interesting. Oh. Wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the road crew to meet us there. Wow, it's going to be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf, but I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, it kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is going to freak. All right, continue the story. Yeah, the lighting looks so weird in that area for some reason. Oh, wow, look at this. EBD version of Raw. Wow. I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. <laughs> Yo. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Looks like he so did, though. Like Troy. <sighs> I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly? You main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. Well, uh, I was saying I was saying this ends at WrestleMania, but I mean I think it'd be pretty fitting to start at TBD and end at TBD. But I just I don't know. Just stop talking and keep playing. <laughs> Here we go. It's a TBD homecoming for the captain. Let's go. 
It's pretty cool though how they're broadcasting Raw from this TVD location. Well, I mean, just one match, I think, is what it sounded like. Still. You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny, actually. You think I can finally get my flaming table spot again? Daughter return home and win the women's world championship. If I mess around at the flaming table against Bianca, though, that's a recipe to fail right there. <laughs> it's one thing to do mess around against someone with a low overall, but like one of the highest people in the game on Legend, like messing around like that. Major risk in right there. Now, here we go. EST at TBD. <laughs> You see like those seats that are kind of like, I don't even know what you'd call those, like those those upper level seats, like I don't know, like opera seats or whatever. That was like some, some guy was like clipping through the, the curtain, so like it looked like you couldn't even see. Women's World Championship on the line at TBD. Dude, it'd probably be sick to have one of those seats though, by the, those upper level seats. I wonder if there's just a captain call name. If there is, I kind of wish I would have chose that and stuff. Here we go. I'm going to be staring at the upper left corner to see what the objectives we say. We see it there. The Women's World Championship. The reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. Here we go. From TBD to Women's World Champion, potentially. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD. Yep, win the Women's World Championship. Straight up. For the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? Truly is the world believe. championship. <laughs> well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. Nah, I missed that. Boom, nice. I'm just wondering if I, when I go into the ring if there actually is going to be a table there or not. Oh god, no, she's too strong. Stop, put me down! These are my fans. <laughs> Good lord. What? She's trying to hit the ref? What was that all about? Listen, you got a WWE ref, right? Not, not a TBD ref. Why are you trying to attack him? Attack. Suplex. Senton? She just laid back down and let me hit it. Oh, uh, corner taunt. Big mistake. These take way too long. That was a huge mistake. I didn't really try to do that though, but sometimes if you're like, it will just teleport you to the corner base. Well, not teleport, but walk you to the corner. Alright, Cap take, taking flight here. Oh! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy. There is a table. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Standing drop kick. Great ups. She's getting something from under the ring. Stop. It's time to stop. This may be the no. Time a stop sign doesn't mean to pump the brakes. Bianca Belair. Oh, look at this. Making it look easy. Taking her time. And then a power slam. Battling ringside. And our announce table's getting shaky. 
I thought she was going to try to take off the announce table cover. I mean, she's something a little risky here. All package driver? Okay, I now have a finisher. Big. Time to stop. Stop! Oh, what? Weapon in hand, just toying with her now. Yeah. <laughs> Never gets old. Stop sign. That had to hurt. The table. The guys, I don't think there will be any place settings. Squaring off right yeah, let's get that in there. And what need is there to go looking under the apron? The ladder, but what would I really even do with that, you know? The universal signal for extreme. I'm going to do a pullback attack. Entered the fray. Backbreaker. Ouch. All right, give me this. I'm destroying all this raw equipment you guys brought over here. Oh no. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Able to sidestep it. Back in the ring now. Cap's getting extreme. No! Oh, what? Dude, that was sick. She got off and it still went through and it landed perfectly. Yeah, let's go. TBD all day. TBD! Yeah, okay, we need to waste that resiliency. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to wait to resilience with the leverage pin. Wow, she kicked out normally. I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. And we just saw some serious offense. Okay. See if I can reverse this. Nope. <laughs> Moves outside. What's the plan here? Uh, hey. We are European uppercut. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Come here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end. Cap has snapped. Oh my god. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Hard shot to the back. Here's the pump handle. Into the backbreaker. That water bottle is rolling away. <laughs> Face buster. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Okay. I have a plan, but it's super risky. Into the corner. I really want to get this flaming good. table spot, but I need momentum, so I'm going to try the trading blows mini game here. It seems like she's learned to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Oh, no. Of course. All right, you know what? <laughs> I guess she got revenge for me putting her through the nut table. Taking the brutality of this match to a new... With a championship on the line. And the champ can't keep the challenger down long. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Come here. Cat. Oh. Oh, dodge. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Okay, this should waste your resiliency. Okay, she kicked out. Here's what we're going to do. Not that. That's not what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, God. I got to be careful here. I can stun her, it's over. Well, maybe. She might have fake resiliency. So she missed. Big. I'm not giving in. This is my home. My home crowd. They all know me here, right? That's Jeff in the front row, and Todd's over there, and Robert. 
Reciprocating the initial reverse. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot. Okay, well, it's time for some vintage sliced bread from Cap. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her. Okay, does she have fake resiliency? Cover for the Women's World Championship. The paradigm has shifted to... Cap has done it! journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000 seat stadium, but on this night, in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed along in a winding road that brought her back to her beginning. Let's go, Cap. What's next for this superstar? This WWE champion? The sky's the limit. Not paying for that announce table either. Oh, Becky Becky's back. Be. Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. <laughs> I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. I mean, technically, this is because they're airing this. Say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard won moment, it's gonna be me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why, Geneva? Why? This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. <laughs> the crowd reacted strongly. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I didn't. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TBD. When Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Okay. Recognize this. The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah. I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now, because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TVD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. What? And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, they to black. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that kind of makes even more sense now why that was a uh, uh, alternate uh, path, depending on if I teamed with Becky or Bailey. So I thought, at first I was saying like that wasn't much of an alternate path, but Becky comes back, so... The cap is back! Win the Women's World Championship and Unleashed. Oh, I got all these arenas, pretty cool. Even though I didn't go to Mexico, that's nice, you still get it. Yeah, 35 points too. Wrestle World Tour. That storyline was pretty fun, actually. What just happened? 
Just some epic level management of a top indie promotion. Thank you very much. DBD social media account likes that. Yeah, any DMs? Troy, get me out of here. Okay, Dom. <laughs> Avish. What else? Thought Psycho Sally would have something to say about this, but I guess not. Well, let's upgrade real quick and then we'll, uh. At 47 points? Oh my god. Max strike. I'm 96 overall. Yo, Cap is OP, dude. Alright, well, there you go. So, <laughs> Regal's here. So, um, I, I gotta be honest, I'm a little confused of, as of Geneva's motivations, why she was jealous, because she was the one that told us to go to WWE in the first place, so uh, I, I guess I'll have to wait and see how it plays out, but I gotta say, um, this might have been my favorite storyline in the game so far. It was pretty fun touring around and facing Bianca and actually having some, you know, some challenging matches, some variety. And the twist I didn't see coming, so overall it was pretty cool, so I'll go on to the next one and see how close I'm in the end. In to the end. I can't even talk right now. Geneva's got me messed up, dude. I got stomped in the face. See how close I am to the end, so I'll see you in the next part, and we'll find out what happens with Cap back at TBW as the Women's World Champion.